eager for his chance to compete for the Webb Ellis Cup, Bryce Campbell is hoping his impressive form for London Irish has earned him a place in the USA squad. Coming over here, I didn't really know um, what to expect. I know I've done pretty well over in the States and um, on the USA team and all that, but to come into a new culture where you don't know if you're going to be respected or how everyone else thinks of you, I thought that it was unbelievable and all the guys helped me to figure it out pretty quickly and they made me, made me feel so welcome and to be part of a side that does so well and won the champ and it's really nothing more I could ask for to be now moving up to the Prem and um, have all these experiences that I've shared with the team has been amazing. It's a dream come true. Since I was a kid, I was like, I'm going to get a contract overseas and play in the Premiership. I thought it could happen, but to have it actually happening now is unbelievable. Coming from the States where there were probably only a handful of guys that have ever even played in the Prem that are American. So it's an honor and I'm just so excited for it. I had a couple friends that had cousins that played in high school and in college and in Indianapolis. Rugby is not massive, but there is a really, really strong upcoming rugby community. Playing NFL, with the league I played in, you had to be under a certain weight limit to be able to carry the ball. So I could only play on the offensive line and play defense. And when my friends were like, come out to play rugby, you can run the ball, we can design plays for you. As soon as I got out there, I just fell in love because you're tackling, you're passing, you're running the ball, you're kicking. Like, it's, it's everything you ever want. And American football was fun and it was a big part of my life growing up. I just had this special connection and love for rugby. Technically, my first cap was against Romania, but my first game was against the Mario Blacks in Chicago. It was like my debut as an Eagle. Just stepping on the field, I just felt like I couldn't be touched. I felt like invincible, like I can't, couldn't believe that this had happened. I had that jersey on, it meant so much. And to have that crest in your chest, to have your country's name on your, on your shirt, and to be out there, is, uh, there's no feeling like it. That one was one that we learned, we learned a lot about ourselves from. We didn't perform as well as we would have liked. We got off to a great start against Chile, and then I think we got a bit complacent, and we, we fell to Argentina 15, and then later on in the tournament uh, to Uruguay. But we know that if we take care of business and get our things right, we'll be back to where we were, and we're confident that we can go to the World Cup and, and surprise some people. Hopefully, I can stay in the squad and, and make it on that on that team. But I just I don't want to think about it too much because it hasn't happened yet. But it's right there, and it would mean the world to me and my family and to the Indianapolis rugby community where I'm from um, to go out there and represent the country at such a such a large stage. Um, just so exciting.